It's not financial advice, not legal advice, for entertainment educational purposes only. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. Listen, does anybody with basic common sense think that AMC retail investors are dumping their AMC shares at 50 cents? Okay. Some people, their average was $72, $50, $40. Do you guys think they are dumping their AMC shares at 50 cents when they're already down 95%? Of course they're not. They're not dumping their shares. This price decline that we're seeing with AMC is the bad actors doubling down on the criminality trying to get it as close to $5 as possible so they can keep all the call premiums, okay? This is what they do every single week. And the thing is, all the SEC or DOJ or FBI has to do is look at the trades for Thursday and Friday, and they will see exactly who sold and who they sold to. I mean, this is not a long drawn out investigation. You see the price tanking, look and see who was selling and who they sold to and at what price. It is very, very simple. But the SEC don't want that information. The DOJ don't want that information. The FBI don't want that information. You know why? Because getting that information requires them to enforce the rules of the market and they don't want to do that. And you know why? Because the only ones losing money are retail investors, pension funds, and institutions that follow the rules. Anyway, here are the AMC numbers. You know, these numbers mean absolutely nothing because they can do whatever they want. <laughs> okay, they're reporting a volume of 16648814 dollars we have no idea what they're doing in a dog pool. We have no idea what they're doing on the other exchanges that they use to manipulate the price of AMC. So those numbers mean nothing. They're claiming 29,765 calls are in the money at $6, an additional 66,804. These are their numbers. These are numbers that they push out to, you know, push their narrative on us. These numbers mean absolutely nothing. Okay, in a fair and transparent market, you might be considering gamma squeezes, but these bad actors can just create more counterfeit shares, an infinite amount. They can also keep lending the same shares over and over and over again. And the SEC does nothing. The DOJ does nothing. The FBI does nothing. When the biggest financial crime in the history of the planet is going on on their watch, make it make sense. And of course, they're claiming 48% of that volume was shorted shares. So somehow they found 8 million AMC shares to short into the market to manipulate the price. And are uh, any of our regulatory agencies or our law enforcement agencies going to ask them to verify where these shares came from? Of course not. Do you guys think that citizens investors screaming about a crime the house is on fire the house is on fire and the fire department don't come to check to verify that the house is not on fire that's what's happening with amc we've been screaming fire for three years and if somehow the fire department don't even come to see if there's a fire, okay? I mean, it, it's absolutely crazy what's allowed to go on in the United States stock market. And they're claiming they can cover all their AMC short position in 3.7 days. Mathematically impossible, logically impossible. And they're claiming the short interest is only 14.68%. Also numbers that I believe are 100 times higher okay they control the data that we receive in order to push the narrative 
that they want us to believe. But we've been in it too long. We know not to trust your numbers. Okay? Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think in any other industry, if the people will scream and fire for three years, do you think the fire department would have came and investigated by now? Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.